me help you do race car stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely for a second there had it look like, yeah, this is how I died. <laughs> I didn't use that laptop for. I don't know what you, I don't want to know what you used this for in college. Not college work. I, I, I didn't do any college work in college. <laughs> I used the computer more now than I ever did. If I wanted to piggyback the stock computer, I could take the old 6L80 valve body and just zip tie it to the frame rail and plug it in. So, what, so would you have to get out and put it in reverse for the camera to come on? Not if we took the range selector slider and rigged it up on the actual transmission or found the pins that crossed over. I looked into it. I probably could have made it work, but I kind of ran out of time. Um, I just see here with my buddy. How you doing? Backup camera. <laughs> Damn, man. Backup camera. It's in there. Real deal. But it thinks we're sitting in park with the ignition on right now, so it doesn't do anything. Uh -huh. Look, <laughs> freedom isn't free, but mullets are when you're friends with me. Where, where's the Clippers? They're at the, the they're at my shop. Uh, lights kind of work. What? Kicker. Goofing around, he finally got to riding this thing. Yeah, I what, know. Like, it's only been a couple of years. Like three years later. Yeah. It's I remember. Cool as hell. I remember whenever you went to like order the turbos, and you were on the phone with Precision, and you're like, "Are you sure you want these turbos? These are the same ones that are in my car." And I'm like, "Yeah, yep." <laughs> no, I remember. It's cool as hell. It's cool to see it all still together and still rolling. So. The headers that got lost in the mail. <laughs> I remember that. You were so pissed. Yeah, it took me two months to make those yeah. things. I didn't know what I was doing. <coughs> now I can make headers in like two days. Even if I ever retire these headers, they'll just be on the wall somewhere. Yep. That's what I have. That's what I do with the headers off of my Civic. I finally made a new set for it and they're hanging on the wall. Those are the same ones I burned a hole in with the plasma cutter, trying to get that bolt out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is. 
No, that was definitely badass, man. It's cool to go for riding it finally after. I mean, how long has this thing been together? Three years? Just about, or almost, almost two full years. Because oh, okay. the first fire up was September of 18. Okay. Yeah, so two years. Oh, it's definitely cool, man. And the same throttle body that we cut down on the lathe. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, welded it and milled it down so that way it's all the same. Definitely cool. It's rowdy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You should, God damn. He's never rode anything in more than like 300 horsepower. Yeah, I drove his dad's car around the park a lot at the shop. That's about it. <laughs> there was there was one time where Ian beat me with this thing. It'll never happen it's again. 300 horsepower. But it happened once. You weren't even driving either. <laughs> well, that no, the one time we did a roll. Yeah, Big uh, Bob Moss was driving up. your car. And, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, right. that was the day it blew up, wasn't it? Uh, pr pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> the day it blew yeah. up and never saw the road again. Yep. <laughs> Five years later, it's still not driving. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh. See what I mean? There's like a little, little oil puddle right over here. Oh, yeah. Every time I make a pass, I just soak it up and then whatever. But I'm pretty sure it's like seeping out of there. See that or man, it could be coming out of the valve cover just dripping down. This is possible. I haven't pulled the valve cover off in a long time either. Yeah, could be. Just could be just a small seat. Here, let me help you do race car stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> do race car stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. And then I'll forget about that and I'll get sucked up in my belt. <laughs> Got some zip ties on there? I haven't touched the fuel pressure regulator since you said it either. Really? I haven't needed to. It's still at like 40 or whatever it is. JC still work? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I just got the, the compressors on a, a toggle switch. Because oh, I didn't want to. It's got the weird, like, it doesn't have a traditional pressure switch on there. So yeah. I'd have to like configure it as a sensor and all that stuff. And I didn't want to do that. So I just put a toggle switch on it. How many times have you left it on? Never. I'm actually like really conscious because it, really? it gets cold, cold. So, yeah. and I can feel it. Like I'll be driving. If I flip it, it goes. Like, yeah, you feel it. So I always. My old Duramax, like I left this switch on so many times going in the morning. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the rear heated seats work, by the way. Yeah, they're, they get pretty warm. <laughs> everything, everything works except the, the gauge cluster right. and the TVs in the roof that are gone. I'm still kind of salty about, but yeah. I never used them, but it'd be cool to say I had them. Yeah. You can roll the coaster with heated seats. That's right, man. And air conditioning in the front. Keep your hands and legs and feet. So I see I didn't get a chance to turn the heated or cold seat on because I was looking at that bank going, dang, there we go. Yeah. I was thinking, I'm like, man, please don't, please don't, please don't. Make the turn, make the turn. Still got the same battery, too. Really? That thing was excess. That yeah. thing was run dead as a doorknob before it ever even got charged, and it's still kicking. I can't argue with that. No, this battery's been fantastic. I mean, it's excess. What do you expect? I probably best battery I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few of them. I've never had a problem. You know, I will say that's one thing I'm not used to about being out west. Is you have to lock your stuff up or else it's gone. <laughs> like gone. Uh, me and my dad were working down at Ryan Martin's shop, helping these? him out on one of his cars. Well, I left my wallet in my dad's truck. He went to the store or something, didn't lock the truck. My wallet's gone. Really? gone everything gone they tried ordering vacations a bunch of other crap on my cards i'm still out like six hundred dollars from that oh hey it's a good looking shirt who's that guy you know, you know the weird thing is i don't even have one that really nope uh, <laughs> there's a few the ones where the gas is on one side and brakes on the other uh -uh. yeah they made them like that for a while you want to talk about awkward <laughs> like, I you, you gotta know how to double foot or else you're gonna either go through the windshield or hit somebody. But I could like set a bottle of water on the dash. I'll drive five hours, it won't move. Really? It rides that smooth. Is the whole thing air ride? Yeah. That's not oh, yeah. serious. What does it look like? Well, I'm just saying. I'm gonna say it looks mid, 90s. Though. Like it looks really good condition. Like everything. For I'm sure. gonna say 90s or really early 2000s. 98. 96. Oh. Which means it was built at the end of 94 because it was delivered in january 95. Oh. it says it right on the tag thing down there 
Oh. And the intercom phone thing still works. <laughs> you, you can page the bedroom. You and, page an Adrian. <laughs> yeah. And, you, and the little ringer thing outside works too. So I, I cut the muffler off my dad's toter home and it lasted about a week and a half before my mom was just irate about the sound of it. <laughs> I mean, I do... I do agree with this one because you hit the Jake break about 2,000 go down the hill. <laughs> Anyone in a 14 mile radius heard that sucker. It was loud. Man. But it still sounded cool. I still would have left it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have put stacks on that sucker coming outside. Big 10 inch bull horns. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. That would have been cool. <laughs> Pulling into calorie, wake everybody up. <laughs> Where's the the exhaust come out on this i hadn't even never looked uh, right now it just points straight down because the one i made for it um fell off after i went down a dirt road by accident <laughs> <laughs> oh have you learned that you have to watch for signs that say 13 6 and all that yet i pay attention to clearance but there was like construction and my gps said turn right so i'm like okay and then i'm too far into this road and then it just turns to dirt <laughs> and i'm like oh, i'm screwed i drive two miles on this washboard dirt road in the middle of like the part of Oklahoma that nothing is in like That's North state. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. It rattled the bolt out and then it broke the flex and I was driving through here and I, you know, see sparks. I got to pull over. So it's just, <clears throat> what's your shirt size? Uh, large. Large. Thank you, sir. What about you, Ian? Uh, large as well. Large. Good. That's the one I had the most of. Uh, yeah, Bonafonte action on there. Throw a torque. QA1. You gotta change the tire letters though. Yeah, next yeah. Ne next version will say <laughs> next version will say MF Hood Rich. Big old fatty. Big old fatty. Big um, place in Kansas City. Free, oh, okay. Freestyle graphics. It's the same place it doesn't for SCT. Yeah, I like that too. It's a nice shirt. They're real next good. Level joints. They're They're the ones that shrink? No. Okay, good. No. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite shirts in the world. I, hey, man, shirts are so hard. Like, they good are. shirts. They are. That's why. I, I remember when he was getting these shirts, man. I was like, bro, those next levels. Yeah. Oh, so good. I can't even wear regular ones anymore. It feels like I'm wearing a towel. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's <laughs> just, I'm like, stay, I hate the ones that you, like, you soft. get them and they're new, they wear yeah. good, and then, like, you wash them once, and you're like, damn, this one too is small. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. You put it on, you're like, yeah, no, I'm, I, de no, I definitely get that. <laughs> uh, I mean, for street, Pro Charger's fine. I oh, know, dude, I love some trip bikes. That's like the onion when I had the Pro Charger kit on it, dude. Yeah. That thing is so much fun. You just cruise along and just whack it like, eh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take a blower over a turbo for a daily driver any day. Yeah. It's just... Less, less to worry about. Right. It is. And a lot less to deal with because it's literally just bolted on, tune it, you're done. No boost controller. Just change pulley size. Six or eight pounds, I'd be happy. Yeah. Just for a month. <laughs> yeah. Like, for a one inch pulley on it. Yeah. <laughs> what do I call him? Like, yo, do you I, make a one inch pulley on no, no. I go over I go over to the guys and like see uh smaller uh pulley lathe. <laughs> Will it just fit around the bolt? No. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> the guys that work over here, at the, uh, they make, or they fix bakery equipment. And so Mitch will take stuff over there to them all the time. They don't speak any English. You just hand them really? stuff. I give them a thing with a line on it. And they're like, huh, here. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you know, draw a line on it and then draw an arrow this way. And I'm like, and he's like, okay. And then he, he cuts it and it's great every time. Went to take my trash out this morning and the lathe guy was over there and he's like, Amigo! And I was like, yeah. <laughs> This is the raw. And he gets here and John shows up, just meets Adrian. He's like, oh, we'll just put you in the other office. Like, <laughs> They had never unlocked this door until I got here. What? And she got my suitcase again. She <laughs> <laughs> I put her in here when we left. She popped mine. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy Mitchell another yeah. day. Did you? Did you? Did she pop that one too? No, she hadn't yet. The ceiling's still pushed over. Easy access. Uh, that's where they drop things on. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the alarm clock hole. <laughs> Come on. Body slam. It's a boxer. Oh, we broke it. Trying to get out of the parking lot. Wait, what's this we? What do you mean? It was fine until you got here. Hey, that ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't driving. Well, I don't know why. Didn't touch a damn thing. No, it was in four high. I went to back up. 
and I was gonna put it back in two wheels so it doesn't kind of bind up when you turn. And I pulled it and it just like flung itself back farther than it was supposed to. Now it's in neutral, the transfer case is in neutral and it just won't go back. I don't know how the linkage works in a truck. All I know is there's a little thing on there with a ball on it that something used to connect to and that's what I push on. So this is real thought out. <laughs> yeah, well, I got, a, I got a yellow line drawn on there that means it's in two wheel drive. <laughs> So just to make sure you don't just try and leave the line in four low. Yeah, I've never I've never even tried to put in four low. I just know that it's four highs all the way forward and two highs one click back. I'll tell you what, it'd be a really cool to try it though. It would blow up. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool for a couple seconds. It would be. It'd be cool for like two feet, and then it would. <laughs> <laughs> Axle spit out. <laughs> I I know people that have tried that, and like uh, Gary Harris from Drag Week, he was like, "Do not put it in four low. It will blow up." I tried it. Pieces went everywhere. So you're just going off his experience. Yeah, he. Uh, I learned a lot from that guy. <laughs> we'll see. If it moves in four low, maybe it'll get itself unbound because yeah. it's just. Yeah. I think it's just bound up. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> That's four low. <laughs> it's funny, you can tell. So he's putting gear to think of. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a thousand percent four low. Like when you put your truck at four low, you gotta hold the brake real hard because yeah. the truck's creeping. You gotta get the get the granny gear. It's like <laughs> rah, rah, rah. <laughs> it was definitely still bound up. I could feel the front. Right. Again, yeah. Money. Hey. Okay, so yep. You put your yellow line. Well, I can't see it, but I went all the way forward one click back. Okay. Should be all right. Uh, I've had to do this. Luckily, like, it's not neutral. No, I've had to do this pulling up to the line before. I've been like, oh crap, I'm still in two wheel drive. So I got my helmet on and everything right before I go into the water. <laughs> I just hop out, lay on the floor, do something in there. If you look, probably like, what's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. They're probably like, oh yeah, what just this could be good. <laughs> don't ask questions. Stop pulling up to the line. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have my time. I can't lift the other side. I would have made it anywhere in a summer the other side. <laughs> Literally. Octane, lithium, pop rocks, pop 2K. It was I've got a lot of miles listening to every song that they've ever played on that. It was riding around with you when I started listening to Octane because I was <laughs> I was tired of the stuff that I was and I'm like, this station's pretty good. So, oh, Octane's the best. Octane and Turbo. Yeah. I like turbo when Turbo too. came out. I can't really do the hip hop stations anymore. They just no, they suck. All the artists they suck. No, it was good from like 2006 to 2014, 15 sometime, but around 15 to 16 it started to get meh, yeah. and then. Now it look like they're out of a Marilyn Manson video and yeah. stuff like that. I thought we forgot Ian because he's not saying anything. I'm here, I'm falling asleep with this quiet ass dad car. You like that that hum of that giant fuel pump just running full bore all the time? Yeah, I love everything. Is that still the so A1000? It's the air motive 5 liter. Oh, the 5 liter. Yeah. That fuel tank has not come out since I put it in. Oh, uh, really? Uh-huh. Can't argue with that. Nope. I checked that. That's a big truck. I checked the filter once last winter, nothing in it. 